Okay, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to just quickly go over the chart on page six of the reference tables titled the relationship of transported particle size to water velocity. <clears throat> so when looking at this chart, right, it is a graph that is completed for us and what it shows us is essentially several different things. First, on the left side here, you have your particle diameter. This is essentially telling you the size of the particle that we are looking at. Okay, it's measured in centimeters. On the right side over here, we also have the particle sizes, right? But these are more of the particle names. Okay, these are the ones that we are more familiar with. So we have Starting here on the smallest, we have clay, silt, sand, pebbles, cobbles, and boulders as we work up. So down here is going to be your smallest, right? And on top here, these are going to be your biggest, all right? Now, these two sides, the left side and the right side, work together. As you can see, you have pebbles here, and if you look at the 0.2, that is the smallest pebble size, and pebbles will go all the way up to 6.4 centimeters. And these numbers match up with the particle diameter size on this side. We'll take a look at the scale in a moment. Now, on the bottom here, you have your stream velocity. Right? This is essentially the speed of how fast the water is going to be flowing. All right, this is going to be measured in centimeters per second. Now, when we take a look at this, both of these scales are known as logarithmic scales. They're going to go up by powers of 10. So this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Okay, so the key is it's this first number that's written on each of these lines here. And I'm just going to underline them because that is what is going to be the amount that the space in between goes up by. For example, if we take a look at this space right here, just this. Okay, so from here to here, we start out at 0 0.01. All right, then we have one, two, three, four lines and we get to 0 0.05. So this is 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05. And it goes all the way up. 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.09, and then you get to 0.10. Right? Now, the reason why I underlined that one is because now from here to here, right, from this point here to this point here, now we're going up by 0.1. So now this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1. Now, from here to here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so it just continues to go up by that scale. So that first number, the one that's on each of the lines, tells you what your scale is going to go up by. And it works the exact same way with the particle diameter size. If we take a look at right here, right, this area, we're going to start with 0 0.01. So this line here is 0 0.01. Right, now we go to 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.09, 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Now, Going up, we have 0 0.1, now we have 0 0.2. Notice I said that these two sides go together. Well, this line here is 0 0.2, which it tells you right on that side over there. So then you have 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6.4, so it's a little bit above it, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so these scales go up by whatever this first number is. So let's take a quick look and see how to use this chart. Now, these are examples. They're not in your notes or anywhere else. They're just on this for the video purposes. So first question, what particle size would be carried by a stream moving at two centimeters per second? So I want to know the particle size. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, two centimeters per second. So here's one. Here's two right here. So I'm just going to go straight up to this point. And again, I apologize. My line's not straight. Right? And now since I want the particle size, meaning the diameter, I'm going to come straight over to the side like this. 
So that's where I would intersect, because here's the graph. So if this is 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04. 0 so the particle size would be 0 0.04 centimeters. Okay. Next, how fast must the stream be flowing in order to carry a particle that is 0 0.002 centimeters in diameter? So 0 0.002. So now we have to come over here. So we'll have a particle size 0 0.001. So 0 0.002 is going to be here. So now I'm going to come over. I hit the graph right there. And now I want the speed, the velocity. So I'm going to go straight down. So my speed is 0 0.1 centimeters per second. So 0 0.1 centimeters per second. All right, and then finally, what particle type, so now I want the type, meaning the name, can be carried by a stream flowing at 0 0.2 centimeters per second. So 0 0.2, so here is 0 0.1, this is 0 0.2, so now I'm going to come up to here, and I hit right there. So now I'm in between this space here, so that particle size is going to be silt. So that's the particle Okay, so hopefully that ex explains the chart on page six of the reference tables a little bit better. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me on either Remind or Teams.